Hi, today I want to show two different capacitive dropper circuits. These are useful as a transformerless power supply to um, take AC mains voltage and drop it down to a lower amount that's useful for the circuit you're trying to power. So first I want to we'll look at these two LEDs that the circuit will be powering. I'll just put my multimeter in diode test mode. Um, we'll just check the forward voltage on these, on these LEDs. Okay, 1.7 volts DC. Great. Um, I'll give the circuit power now. You can see the LEDs come on. Um, this The capacitor is limiting the current through the circuit. I'm not using uh, a resistor to limit most of the current through the circuit. There is a resistor there, but that's just to limit the inrush currents and to kind of um, uh, smooth out any like abrupt spikes in voltage. Um, so that the LEDs don't burn out. Um, so let's take some quick measurements on the circuit. Put my multimeter in AC voltage, and let's test this out. So coming into the circuit, 123 volts AC. And across the LED, 1.7 volts AC. So the capacitor is dropping the voltage I needed to in this case. So what is the, how do you, how do you choose the capacitor? What, what is the math behind it? Um, the impedance of a capacitor can be calculated, um, C being the capacitance, and uh, S will say is the, the frequency of the AC that you're dealing with. So 60 hertz in, in this case. And so you get an equivalent uh, impedance of 26 kilo, about 26 kilo ohms in this case. So I want to show one other circuit here. But before I do that, I do want to show uh, a circuit diagram, a simplified circuit diagram of the circuit, just to talk about. Uh, we have an AC voltage uh, source here, and then it's going through this capacitor, which to limit the current as we discussed. Um, in this case, it's a 100 nanofarad capacitor. Um, not electrolytic, it's a metal film capacitor, um, so non-polarized capacitor, um, which is important because we're dealing with AC. Um, again, the resistor for inrush current, um, and then these two diodes here, which are our LEDs in this case. Um, it's important to have the two diodes in this case, so you have the return path for the AC current, um, or else current would only go one way, the capacitor would charge up and then block, and you wouldn't have this uh, AC action, which is important to get the reactants um, from the capacitor so that it provides the impedance that we want for the circuit. Okay, here's another cap dropper circuit, um, this time powering an Arduino with it. So I'll just uh, I'll give it voltage, I'll give it power now, flip the power on, and you can see this, uh, power uh, LED indicator LED is on, on the Arduino, as is this blinking LED, which uh, there's a program running on the Arduino blinking the LED. So let's, uh, let's uh, take some measurements again. Okay, AC voltage. Coming in. All uh, right, 123 volts AC coming in. And then let's check the voltage going to the Arduino, uh, DC. I'll check the voltage across this uh, zener. So just over four volts across the zener, being buffered by that capacitor, um, and then taking as output to the Arduino. So I'll show you uh, a circuit diagram to talk about this. Uh, again, we have this AC voltage source, capacitor to limit the current, um, a resistor for inrush current, then this uh, bridge rectifier out of those black diodes there um, to rectify it to uh, um, uh, DC. And then we now have this uh, Zener diode, which is the lighter colored diode there, which is clipping the voltage to 5.1. 
and then a final electrolytic capacitor there to buffer the output voltage for the, for the Arduino. Um, this uh, Zener is a 5.1 volt Zener, but the Arduino is drawing uh, a lot of current for this, this configuration, so it, the voltage is dropping a bit, but it's still within spec, um, or close enough for, for this demo. Um, again, you have this uh, capacitor here, which is limiting the current. The reason we have that set up at all is we couldn't just put uh, mains going um, across this Zener because that'd be way too much current, way too much voltage for it to burn off. It would burn it off as heat. Um, so we have this set up uh, to limit it. Um, so it's a pretty, um, for low currents, it's a, it's a pretty efficient, or it's efficient enough circuit and it's easy to build, it's small, uh, it doesn't need a transformer at all, um, it takes up only a little space. And for this kind of job, it, um, it's a, it can be a good fit. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Oh, uh, I do want to add, uh, there are a few uh, safety features you would want to add into the circuit if you were, if you were, if you were actually using it. Uh, you would want to have, you'd want to have a fuse in there. Um, this is, of course, AC mains voltage. You want to be careful with that. Uh, usual precautions. Um, this capacitor and the other capacitor on the other cap dropper circuit are, should be X-rated capacitors so that they can deal with um, transients and other uh, spikes on AC mains. And uh, yeah, just uh, just be careful and these can be these can be useful, a useful circuit in your toolbox of um, circuits.